Have you noticed that when you pass urine, it has become bubbly and foamy? If yes, then stay tuned with me because we are going to discuss what is the cause of this foamy urine. Is it something to be worried of? And if yes, what all medical condition can cause this foamy urine? And how do you treat it? And how do you understand the cause behind it? And much more than that. Let's find out in today's video. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I'm an endocrinologist, hormone specialist to doctor from Mumbai, India. Being a diabetes expert, I often ask this question to my diabetic people that when you pass urine, how does it feel and how does it feel on the toilet pan? Plenty many times the people, especially the patients get very confused and they get very surprised that why is doctor asking such question? Well, by asking this question, and by knowing the answer of that, I am in a position to help you understand your kidney health. And you can also do the same by following this simple trick. And that's observe the quality of your urine. And if your urine is foamy or bubbly and that happens repetitively or it increases in the intensity, then it is to be worried of okay what are the medical conditions which can cause them let's find out so very first condition is the protein leakage what we call it as a protein urea or most common protein leakage which happens is the albumin protein so we also call it as a albumin urea understand how our kidney functions see kidney which are located in our abdomen the major job of the kidney is to filter out all the toxic waste products. And these waste products are usually excreted in the form of a urine. Okay. Imagine our kidney filtration system as a tea strainer. Yes. When we make a tea or coffee, we strain it, right? So this strainer Imagine this strainer as a kidney filtration system. So when your strainer is working perfectly, it is a very good condition. When you pour a tea or a coffee or any juice on it, what will happen? All the liquid will separate and all the solids, sediments will settle on the top. Okay. But if suppose this strainer is not working properly. Let's say there is a hole in that. Then what will happen? Along with the fluid, some solid elements will also pass through. Isn't it? That is the same thing with the kidney. When your kidney is perfectly healthy, okay, it is like that perfectly working strainer. The fluid is coming out in the form of a urine and there is no protein inside. So having a protein in your urine is an indication that your kidney filtration system is faulty. Okay. So if your kidney is not working effectively, the filtration system is damaged, then what will happen? All these proteins are going to leak inside your urine. And it is this protein when it comes in contact with the air it makes a bubbles and that is the reason why when you are passing urine the protein inside the urine reacts with the air and creates the bubbles and that's why you get the foamy urine okay now foamy urine usually happens when you have a kidney problem when you start having foamy urine and if it increases in intensity or continuously it happens, that means there can be some issue with your kidney. Of course, you need to pay attention to other symptoms of the kidney damage like increasing in your blood pressure, swelling in the body, swelling in your feet, then shortness of breath, having a back pain, feeling fatigue, tired, anemia, repeated fractures, imbalance in PTH hormone okay 
he, uh, passing a uh, blood stained urine hematuria what we call it as these are the certain symptoms which can also happen with the kidney damage and if you don't pay attention to them it can progress further and go up to chronic kidney disease or a end stage renal disease unfortunately this proteinuria happens more commonly in a diabetic and a blood pressure people so if you have a long duration of a diabetes or if it is not controlled well or if your blood pressure is not controlled well all of that is going to damage your kidney damage your filtration system and makes you more prone to have this proteinuria okay so what to do about it how will you know that it is a actually a proteinuria for that we ask you to get a very special test called as a albumin creatinine ratio if your albumin creatinine ratio is 30 mg per gram or more than that that means there can be a kidney problem okay so make sure that you do your acr test on a frequent basis especially if you have a diabetes and a blood pressure it is ideally to get these tests done at least at 6 to 12 months interval not only that you must ensure that your sugar and your blood pressure is well in control because if you are going to control that you are going to restrict the damage to the kidney okay plenty many time what happens that the people who have a diabetes they keep popping up the same pill for years and years they don't do the testing they don't follow up with the doctor please don't do such mistake because if you do that there can be a possibility that we might not be able to control your blood sugar and blood pressure and in that case you are going to damage your kidney more not only that if your kidney is damaged and if you keep taking the same old pills it might be possible that the damage can become further more so you need to have a regular follow ups with your treating physician doctor okay now along with that of course you need to pay attention to your kidney health so if your blood pressure is high your doctor might put you on a anti hypertensive medications medications like angiotensin receptor blockers okay, like ramipril or ace inhibitors like losartan telmisartan or calcium channel blockers like amlodipine these are the certain medications your doctor might put you on your doctor might put you on a medications for your diabetes management and as i told you earlier if your damage is significant then your doctor might even stop certain medications like metformin your doctor might even start you on a insulin so again it depends on case to case you might have to restrict your salt intake your fluid intake and a protein intake all of this fluid protein and the salt restrictions can be implied on you so that you can help your kidney to function better okay of course if it is, does not come into good range and if it progresses to the last stage then in that case you might have to even undergo dialysis or a renal kidney transplant okay again case to case depends dependency is there in such medical cases okay so this is the very first the most common and a, a very commonly seen condition that's a uncontrolled diabetes and a blood pressure people besides that other causes for the foamy urine is like a speed of the urine yes let's say that you want to go urination okay and your bladder is full so this full bladder or overfilled bladder can also give you foamy urine and if your bladder is overfull you want to pass urine and you are holding on for some reason and now when you get the opportunity to release the urination the urine comes out with a big force and a big speed and that can also cause a foamy urine see imagine if you are if you turn on the tap at a very high speed then the water is going to touch and touch the floor or the sink the moment it will flow uh, on the sink what will happen the bubbles will come same thing happens with your urine so overfilled and um, you know, overfilled bladder very fast urination can give you foamy urine another reason is a dehydration yes if you are not drinking sufficient water 
then in that case your urine will be very very concentrated even a small amount of a trace amount of protein can become a surfactant and can give you the uh, foamy urine so ensure that you drink sufficient amount of water so that you don't have this problem for that maybe you can put a water reminder or you can fill a water bottle so that you know that you have to drink this much water okay another problem which happens mainly in men and that's a retrograde ejaculation yes what is this retrograde ejaculation retro means coming back okay ejaculation the here we are referring to semen see the anatomy of a men is in such a way that penis is a common medium for the passage of urine as well as the semen okay so at the end of the physical intimacy rather than the semen ejaculating outside if that does not happen and if it reverse flow it goes back that we call it as a retrograde ejaculation now retrograde ejaculation if it happens then the semen will be collected inside your bladder next time when you pass a uh, urine it might become foamy so retrograde ejaculation is also quite common it is common in people who have a diabetes who have a blood pressure or who have a urethra problem or a prostate problem sometimes even multiple sclerosis and a spinal cord injury and spinal cord surgical patient can also have a retrograde ejaculation so make sure that you uh, test for this and if you have retrograde ejaculation you might need to consult a urologist doctor who will help you in treating that that treatment can vary from certain medications to even a surgical procedure usually retrograde ejaculation treatment is offered especially to those people who are yet to complete their family or the people who are struggling with the male infertility in such situation the treatment becomes very very important otherwise it becomes case to case you can discuss with your doctor and take a decision accordingly okay another medical condition is amyloidosis yes amyloidosis though not very very common it's a relatively less common or rare condition but people with amyloidosis can also have a foamy urine medications used to treat urinary tract infection like azedo or pyridium can also give you um, foamy urine another not actually a body condition but a common reason of having a foamy urine is also the cleaner which is used to do uh, clean used for the toilet cleaning this toilet cleaner contains a surfactant so let's say after washing the toilet if there is a small sediment of the soap remains inside the uh, inside the toilet and next time you pass urine you flush it and you will find that everything is become bubbly so these are little uncommon but definitely practically people do come across with such issues so make sure that your toilet is cleaned well flushed well before you urinate all right so these are the medical conditions which can give you a foamy or a bubbly urine okay i hope after watching this video you got some good useful information especially very important this video is for diabetic people because plenty many times diabetic people are the one who are at a risk of having this problem and so many times we have seen when the people are aware of this condition and they are aware that if i pass for me urine i need to bring it to my doctor's notice otherwise people don't pay attention and they just ignore it by ignoring this you might be also ignoring a very um, serious condition like a kidney problem so being aware of that is very very important and that's why being awareness you are going to prevent there's a saying in medicine prevention is better than cure but it is also cheaper than cure cheaper in terms of the kidney damage cheaper in terms of the dialysis and the kidney transplant so if you are aware of this that such condition can happen to diabetic people you can protect your kidney okay i hope this video helped you a bit if yes please click on the like button if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you get more and more health related information
And if you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for, then write that in the comment box below. I try to read and answer them as early as I can. So many people have asked me in the previous video comments, Doctor, where is your clinic? Well, I'm located in Mumbai, India. If you want to come and visit me in my clinic, you're most welcome. If that's not possible for you, then you can avail an online consultation. I consult patients all over the world. And for that, you can reach out to my staff on the number which I'm giving you. It's a WhatsApp number, so you can message her on a WhatsApp. The number is 9987829999. Please be informed, it's not my personal number. It belongs to my staff or secretary. Okay. So, we will meet again in future with some new good useful information. Till then, take care of yourself. Namaste.